This video is a response to a comment I got on my video titled, Using Ableton Live and Reason Together. Someone asked if I could demonstrate this technique with the red drum instrument. I'm glad someone asked this because it's actually possible not only to use this instrument seamlessly with Ableton, <clears throat> but to have as much or as little isolation as you desire. That is to say, having all your drums on one track in Ableton or routing it so that similar sounds are routed to their own dedicated tracks, such as kicks, snares, hi-hats, etc. This latter technique will allow you to get a much better result in the mixing stage, as unique effects and EQing can be applied to each element without disturbing the others, like adding a little reverb to your snares or adding a high-pass filter to your kicks only. Okay, let's take a look. First, remember to open Ableton first, so it's the master program, and Reason second, so it's the slave program. First, I'll demonstrate how to simply rewire a red drum to Ableton with the whole mix going to one Ableton track. No isolation of elements here. So first, I'll create a line mixer. Then a red drum. This red drum is loaded with a default drum kit. I'll allow the default routing to occur in Reason by making sure that I don't hold shift while creating the devices. Notice when I flip to the back view, we've got our red drum routed from the main outs to the first channel of our line mixer, then from the line mixer to our first channel of our hardware interface. Okay, now notice that as in the last video, when we trigger a sound, the meter shows that audio is playing in Reason, but we haven't routed it to Ableton yet, so let's flip it over to our instance of Live, drag an external instrument device onto our MIDI track, send the MIDI to Reason in the first dropdown, and Red Drum in the second. And let's take our audio from the 1-2 mix left-right, which is the first channel on our hardware interface in Reason. Now notice that when I trigger Red Drum, we've got sound. So let's pop back to Ableton, double click to insert a MIDI clip, turn on the headphone icon, and see that we can trigger our sounds in Ableton as well. I'll just sequence a quick pattern in Ableton here. Now remember the strength of this process is that you can write in both programs seamlessly and move back and forth between them. While I advocate using one or the other exclusively as your main sequencer, I'll quickly demonstrate what it looks like to use them both simultaneously. Notice I've got my beat being triggered from my sequencer in Ableton and also from the Redrum device itself. But all the sounds are created and contained within the Redrum device. Okay, so now I'll quickly demonstrate how to achieve some more isolation. I highly recommend keeping your elements separated for mixing purposes. I'll create a kick, snare, and hi-hat track in live first. Three MIDI tracks onto which we'll drag the external instrument devices. Okay, now in Reason, let me start fresh here and clean these up. Just delete these. Now, what I want to do is give each element its own dedicated mixer. This will allow me to just patch in another device later on. Say, if I want to add a kick from the Kong device or a hi-hat pattern from a Rex loop, I just patch it into this existing mixer, and it's automatically routed to the right track in Ableton. So I'll create three line mixers, one for the kick, snare, and hi-hat. Very important to note, I'm holding shift while I create these devices because I'm going to want to do all the routing myself. So I'll name these kick, snare, and hi-hat.
Now I'll create a red drum device while holding shift again. Notice that nothing is routed here. What I'll do is send each mixer to a different channel on my hardware device because we can select those as inputs in Ableton. Now what I'm going to do is use the individual track outputs on the red drum and send each sound to its own mixer. So the kick on channel 1 I'll send to the kick mixer. The snare on channel 2 I'll send to the snare mixer. And the hi-hat is on channel 8 I'll send this hi-hat to the hi-hat mixer. Now for the settings of the external instruments in Ableton. Every one of these devices will be set as MIDI out to Reason and then to Red Drum in the next dropdown, but the audio will be different on each one. The kick will come from 1-2, the snare will come from 3-4, and the hi-hat will come from 5-6 because those are the channels on the hardware interface in Reason that the mixers are going to respectively. All right, now let's do some quick sequencing so we can see how this isolation really works. Insert a MIDI clip on each track. Let's find our sound on the drum grid here and sequence up a hi-hat rhythm. That's a little obnoxious, so I'll take away every other one. Now let me go to my snare track, find my sound, and throw a pattern in there. And then I'll go do the same thing for my kick. Remember, if you want to sequence this pattern in Reason on the Red Drum, you can. And now you have the advantage of having all your audio routed out to separate tracks when you want to bounce it and mix it into Ableton. Now also see what an advantage of this setup is if say I want to put a reverb send on just my snare in Reason. I'll right click on my snare mixer, create a reverb unit that'll automatically wire as an auxiliary send. So notice when I turn up the send amount on my snare mixer, specifically on this snare channel, the reverb increases on the snare only. Now notice enabled in how I can stop any one of these elements and the beat will keep playing, the other elements in the beat will keep playing, and you can also mix uh, and adjust levels between the elements in your beat. I hope you all found this video useful, and if you've got any more suggestions, please put them in the comments. Visit Lynch Audio for more free audio resources and tutorials.